We need to help each other. People are going through struggles. You may not know it. The person sitting next to you on a bus going home, you don't know what struggles they're going through. They could have just had their house foreclosed. They could have just lost a loved one. And we need to help each other. And this is a community center, which means it's open to everybody. We have various uh, emphasis, one on substance use disorder. We have anger management classes. We provide uh, parent training. We're, we work with some mothers that are at risk for losing their children. And it's a way to help educate them to be better better parents, to be more insightful, to strengthen that bond that they have with their child and just to improve their overall situation. Every time I come in, I immediately see like a lot of culture. I hear like a lot of Spanish. I hear African dialect. Crystal Ray has helped my kids with breastfeeding advice, with getting extra resources. You know, as being a low-income mom, sometimes you need extra food. I mean, they will point you towards the right direction if you need any classes or anything. I love teaching young mothers how to do the best that they can with the resources that they have and just try to empower them and show them that they really have everything they need. They just have to believe in themselves that they'll be a wonderful mother. Well, Nautica is a wonderful mother and she has been learning as she goes and we've just been a team. She's been through a lot and during the first year of life there's a lot of office visits so she's kept up with that very well and she has been providing her children with really good care. I think a lot of parents like coming to Crystal Ray because they do get to see the same pediatrician each time or the same family nurse practitioner and they get to know that provider and feel more comfortable coming more frequently and not having to tell their stories over and over again. We're fortunate here at the center that we have all these other complementary services, our medical practice, our food access, our financial education. But bottom line is kind of helping somebody where they're at and helping them for today. In the, in the area of, of recovery and addiction, we is looking at things one day at a time, and we want to help that person maximize that day. You know, I often say that I, I, I learned so much from someone who is working very hard in the recovery effort because they teach me, for instance, to accept and appreciate what the day gives me. The second and fourth Thursday of every month, if you're here, by eight o'clock with an ID, each household gets a box of fresh fruit and vegetables. Broccoli, potatoes, onions, apples, carrots. And you can always, always use fresh fruit and vegetables in your house. Sometimes there's milk, eggs. It all depends on what is donated to Crystal Ray. There's times where the box is so heavy you can't carry it. And all you need is your ID. You know, whatever is, is donated here, they, they like to give. They don't hold it. They want you to have. Oh, love the kitchen. In the morning time, don't really have anything to do, so we'll come here and have breakfast, and the food's always, always good. Eggs, we have bagels, juice, and always some really good hot coffee. Some of my ladies, the only hugs they get are from the la other ladies in my group. The only time they go out is for my class. The only time they smile is at my class. Some of the ladies we hang out outside of Crystal Wright. We go shopping, we go to lunch. To me, they're family now. Now Thursdays are our crazy day. We're doing chocolates and molds, chocolate covered strawberries, chocolate covered pretzels. I'm showing them how to do gummy bears. You know, we're gonna see somebody regardless of, of insurance, regardless of, of other mechanisms uh, for payment. Without an outlet like ours, there's many more that would struggle. You don't meet people every day, you know, just willing to help you and your family, you know. And, uh, I mean, it definitely goes with me a long way. If I ever was to get rich, I'll make sure <laughs> this be one of my first stops to make sure I can come back and give back to the community. 
and I see a lot of people here that come here because they are hungry and they don't have anywhere to go and it breaks my heart. As a mother you worry about oh am I able to get diapers this month are we going to be able to have you know extra money for a good meal to know that we're going to be able to get that and it's going to everything's going to work out it's like God. <laughs>